Our journey north to Overland Expo Pacific Northwest was a long one. We had set aside five weeks for this round trip and were on day six. Today, we would set off in search of a waterfall. But first, coffee. It's hard to want to leave here. Yeah, this is a pretty good campsite. Let me guess. Top five? Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, actually. For those that don't know, every time we get to a new campsite that's beautiful like this, it ends up being in the top five. We've got a lot of top fives. Um, this is one of them. 50 or 60 top fives. <laughs> I'm a woman, I can make my own rules. <laughs> This is a good one. We're just gonna have to stop keeping lists of campsites because they're, they all have something. Well, otherwise we wouldn't stop. Yeah. We pass a lot of spots. Yeah. Well. It's time, huh? Yeah. We need to get mobile. Yeah. So we can see that waterfall. I know, I'm staring off in the distance like I can see. I can, I can, I can hear, hear it, it. But I cannot see it. Can't see it. They need to. Yep. Actually, there's a couple of them we're going to look for today. All time dependent. But the first part of that time is getting packed up. That's right. Bring it on. Thank you. Mm.
Leaving Bowman Lake, we found the source of the sound we'd been hearing. It wasn't quite what we had hoped. Down beside the trail on Jackson Creek was a small series of drops. It was pretty, but we were in search of wow. A jaw-dropping waterfall that just the sight of it would cause you to stop dead in your tracks to take it all in. This was not it. So we aired down, knowing that the trail ahead would be long, and we were unsure of the conditions we would encounter. We had a GPS track from Overland Trail Guides that would get us most of the way there and a rough idea of how long it should take. But it was June, and if you've ever traveled in the mountains that early in the summer, you know that the conditions really depend on the amount of snow the previous winter and the speed of the melt in the spring. We learned a few lessons the year before in Utah and Wyoming with snow and mud directly attributed to the snow melt and were a bit wary of venturing out into the high country of California at this time of year. But the reward of getting to this particular waterfall made the risk worth it. Or at least that's what we thought. But more on that later. adventure, the excitement of the unknown in the air, and wheels in motion yet again. These almost have like a fungus vibe the way they're coming out of the ground. Prettiest fungus I've ever seen. They have like these little bell shaped flowers. Oh, it almost, it's like thick, like a succulent. Hmm. We later learned that these curious flowers are snow plants. Those are very cool. Found only in the mountains of the US West Coast. This one must be more mature. It's bigger and it has these like little leaf things that are coming out and like covering up some of the flowers. I don't know. Really cool though. We continued on. Up until now, the trail conditions we had encountered were phenomenal and we were making what we thought was good time. every turn a new scene, and eagerly soaking in the experience of driving through the Tahoe National Forest. But when you're on a trip like this, you don't know what you don't know. And we didn't know what lie just ahead.
Well, we're gonna learn from past mistakes. The last time, you guys probably remember in Wyoming when we hit some big mud areas. Today has been one hell of a day. Still not even across. We're, oh no, we're not across yet. But this beast right here tried to swallow us up. I cried and peed. I'm about to stress eat. Just saying. Hell of a day. Like it ended up sinking us into the mud and we were stuck. So we're gonna take a good look at this. Cause this, that's a big mud hole. All right, so let's see what we got. We are aired down. Ground feels solid, so I'm not too worried about that. Whoops. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. I think that's solid all the way across. So. Yeah, because these ruts, we don't, I don't think we want to get into these. So. Thank you, Jesus. We made it. We made it through. Yeah, uh -huh. I, think, I think checking the bottom was pretty good. Did you see the yeah, I did. did you see the trailers flip out? <laughs> <laughs> it all was doing this, and I'm like, just go. Yeah. Now we did all right. Yeah. 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 Right on. All right, mud. I don't like it. <laughs> snow. I don't like snow. I feel about snow the way I feel about mud. Snow. Alicia still hadn't gotten over our previous year's experience in the melting snow of Utah. And even though this snow was nothing in comparison, I got out to spot as requested. Right there, that's good. Sure. 
tightened up. set back on our timeline. And with each puddle of standing water, unsure if this one would be the deep mud hole that would stop us dead in our tracks. didn't give us any reassurance that conditions wouldn't take a turn for the worse. But from where we were, this was the only trail to take us to Weber Falls without backtracking almost the entire distance we'd traveled. We had to keep pushing through if we were going to have a chance of making it to our destination before sundown. I don't want to. 
want you to slip. That is another waterfall. Yeah. Weber Falls. And we made it just in time as the sun was starting its final descent toward the horizon. Weber Falls is a triple waterfall with a total plunge of 76 feet. The footing isn't great going down, so it didn't risk getting a great view on foot. But from another vantage point, it's absolutely spectacular. There's a sense of accomplishment when you set a goal for the day, and even though you encountered obstacles, are able to overcome them and reach the finish. Setting small goals and being flexible is much more enjoyable than trying to do too much too fast. We had only driven 25 miles today, but they were solid trail miles that built our confidence in our equipment and decision making. Weber Falls was even more spectacular than we could have ever hoped for.
You know, my cup is ugly and beat up, but man, does it keep my coffee hot. Yeah, same here. Yeah. It doesn't all have to be like Insta perfect or Pinterest perfect or. I'm whatever. not, so why should my coffee. Should we start a Pinterest? I don't know what Pinterest is. Do you know what Pinterest is? Yes. Should we start a Pinterest? Mm. No. Okay. All right. We're not going to do Pinterest. Says the person who's really not on social media. So. <laughs> oh, I saw a fish. It's like counting shooting stars. You don't want to get up and do something else because you're going to miss it. You might see a really, you might miss a really good one. Yeah. yeah. Like I swear last night there was a fish just like skating on the water. <laughs> If you liked this episode, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And check out this video right here. We're just getting started, and our journey has just begun.